Wow, this is this game is really tearing us apart, and I do not care. I'm I, I'm with you there, dude. It is fun. Tearing us apart like a fucking like a like a dude who can tear apart a phone book. <laughs> <laughs> you know the guy. It's getting the guy, a little late. <laughs> the guy who watched Beekman's World. I challenge you to tear this phone book in half with your bare hands. Hey, no problemo. Oh, Bruno. Wait a minute. What are you doing? Well, you said to you use your bare hands. This is my bear, and these are his hands. Not your bare hands. Your bare hands. Um, okay, I took a shot. Thanks, Bruno. Scram. All right, here goes. <laughs> it's too thick, Lester. No can do. Oh, yes, can do. Now, I place said hands this way, and I bend it thus, and... <laughs> wow, Lester, how did you do that? Oh, it takes a little virility, a touch of manliness, a smidge of bravado, and just a soupçon of machismo. I learned it from my grandma. That's my grand rat. I have a hunch there's more science there than strength. Hmm? Nope, no science whatsoever. Oh, Ray, let your fingers do the replaying. Ray, Ray! Using my hands as fulcrums and my arms as levers, I bend the book into a V-shape. Then, by pulling across the top page, I'm able to apply my force to one page at a time, thus tearing the pages in rapid succession, giving the illusion of an amazing feat of strength. You're right, Lester. No science at all. It is like, hey, I bet you I can rip a phone book for five dollars, and everyone's like, no, you can't. And he's like, check it out, and then, <laughs> and, then he, and then he rips a phone book in half, and then everyone's like, wow, how did you do that? And he's like, so I'm not telling. <laughs> You know the guy. Oh yeah, I know that guy. <laughs> Everybody knows that guy. <laughs> oh man. Let's see where this level takes us. Oh, I remember this one. I love this board. Yeah. Primarily because this was the one where you were talking, like... <laughs> like, just insanely rambling <laughs> in, like, a sleepy way about a guy who could rip a phone book in half. What?! Yeah, yeah. You're like, it's, you're like the guy who can rip a phone book in half for five dollars, and people are like, Whoa, how'd you do that? You're like, Pfft, I'll never tell. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it so clearly. Oh, it's been a while since I've gotten sleepy on the show. Oh, yeah. Damn. It was Yoshi's Cookie was the last one. Yoshi's Cookie was no <laughs> joke. There's no jokey's cookie. <laughs> I think I think we played this level. Oh shit! This yeah yeah. This is the one where you're talking about ripping the phone book in half, and I was like, "What?" And you were like, "I'll never tell." <laughs> <laughs> what? That's one of my favorite fucking moments of ever doing the show. <laughs> really? Yeah, we were just it was late at night, and we were losing it. And you were like, "It's like the guy from Beekman's World." <laughs> I was like what? <laughs> <laughs> you remember? I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about from the show, but I but, know what you're talking about in reality. Yeah, and Beekman's were- oh, dude, it was so ridiculous. <laughs> I'll never tell. I'll never tell. <laughs>